so many things to talk about this morning and so many shards to pull. Let's do it! What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. I need to drink some more coffee, but just be reminded that not only are we pulling shards in this video, we are also going to be pulling shards on stream tonight here on YouTube and Twitch. I'd love for you to sign up. If you've never had your shards pulled on stream, it's a great time. Sometimes I'm crazy lucky for people, and that could be you also. If you'd like to get on the shard pull list, message me in Discord. Come on out to the uh, live stream. Hang out. Let's have a good time tonight. But before we do that, let's jump into today's video. I am excited about today for a couple reasons. Number one, this is the 10x, 2x. I don't know why it's uh, like not showing on screen. That's weird. Um, did they change something in here? Like, that's weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, so Sulfurion is freaking good. Okay. And we're going to show you the builds on my account for Sulfurion. I'm not pulling for him. I already have multiple copies. Okay. How many? I just feel like that's all of the Void Legendaries I've gotten recently has been Sulfurions. So let's head over and take a look at my builds and I'm going to give you some information as well. Yeah, I feel like my last three Void Legos have all been Sulfurion, but either way, he's amazing, okay? He is absolutely amazing. Oh, well, he's very popular. The Sportos, the Motorheads, Geeks, Sluts, Bloods, Wastoids, they all adore him. So I have two different versions here, and I want to tell you that they perform about the same way for me. I love, absolutely love, the refresh accessories on him. He's already tanky, so if you can throw some refresh accessories on him, then you're gonna you're gonna be rewarded with extra abilities. It seems like I have uh, oh <laughs> apparently I have all the rings I could ever want in Lizardmen and nothing else. Okay, so what is this one? This is oh that's why because it hit all of these flat stats. Gotcha. So be using those refresh accessories. Those come from the 3v3 shop, and that's going to be very helpful in Hydra, which is the main place that Sulfurion is going to be useful, okay? This one um, just has some more speed, and then this one has the, um, you know, what what is this gear called? <laughs> I need more coffee. The reflex gear, yes. Now, actually, I think that I could probably... You know, get just as good of a build. I thought this was in Relentless, to be honest with you. So, I guess what's happening is the speed build, you're just getting a couple more turns. And the um, reflex build, then you're resetting the abilities. But either way, they're both good. And I use both of them. I'll show you the Hydra teams here as well. Uh, if you want to skip ahead, I will be doing the shard pulls as well. We're going to be pulling some interesting things here on the main account, so stick around. Um, his A1 is going to be this amazing turn meter boost. His A2 is going to be the HP burn, the activating HP burn, and the shield buff. And the reason why I love him so much is because he's the best reviver for Hydra, period. He's better than Duchess, in my opinion, for Hydra. Because you can use all kinds of uh, survival champs, you know, so whatever support champs you want. But he alone does a great job of keeping your team alive. And I love him. I, my damage has improved so much. So if you're considering pulling for him, I think it's definitely worth it. Plus, he looks freaking cool. Love it. Uh, whenever he first came out, I was skeptical on how good he would be. After getting him, I was disappointed because I thought he was mediocre. And then my dude William was like, no, make sure you try him out. He's actually really good. And I was like, okay, let's try him out. And when I did, I was impressed. I was very impressed. These are just the first builds that I put him in. So actually, I think I could improve both builds. So that's something I'm going to be working on here on the channel for my teams. All right, let's head over to Hydra and see where I use him. 
Now, you might be thinking, is this a Sulfurion guide that I didn't ask for? No, but I did want to include a little bit of information here because we're, you know, we're all pulling for him this weekend. So this is my main Nightmare team right now. I know it's all Void Legendaries, okay? But it's my team, and it's being very successful for me. One of the big reasons why is Sulfurion. Also, my Brutal team is going to be using Sulfurion as well. And that is this team. This team is way more free-to-play accessible, okay? This is free champions you can get. This is, you know, Archer, which a lot of you will have. We have Makage, the permanent fusion, mythical. And then the hardest one to get in the team is going to be Sulfurion. Now, if you don't have Archer, obviously you're not going to be able to get her. And I do feel bad about that. That does suck. You know, she's my favorite Thundercat in Raid Shadow Legends. I love that she's in here. She's really, really good. But Sulfurion holds this team together, man. And he can slot in, you know, to any team. I would start by putting him in the team and then building the team around him every time. He's super, super good. So is he worth pulling for? Absolutely. He's absolutely worth pulling for. And I think that a lot of a lot of players should pull for him. But that being said, I'm not pulling my void charts today on this account. And I've been debating actually whether to pull them or not. And here's why. You come over here to your fragment summons. You should be pulling your epics this weekend. Not only because you need to level them up, but also those are going to be points for your champion chase and whatnot. He's so cool. I, I love this guy. I think he's very good, and I want to prove that. I haven't seen any content on him, um, so let me know where you want to see him. And then let's pull the second one, obviously. We need to get to 3,000 points. So I may still need to pull some void shards. How am, am I behind? Am I on track? I am. I don't know where I'm at with this fusion. Please let me know in the comments below. As always, let me know what you get. And uh, if it's good, we'll celebrate. If it's not good, I'll give you some empathy. Uh, I have a remnant summon, so I thought we would do that in this video as well. <clears throat> okay, another epic. No worries. But, uh, you know, those epics are going to be good for points. And then I have two uh, Prism Crystal pulls from events. These are free to play. And so hopefully I can get my Fina. I actually am considering... Considering... Oh, they took it away. Plarim, you're so stupid. Dang it. You can't buy the Prism Shards at the end of the week. I forgot. Well, that's not an option now, so hopefully we just get her off of two Prism Shards. Nope. Okay, Luthea. It's one of my very first epics in Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, she's, like... She's cool looking, but, like, you can tell, like, she's one of the older champions just based on her appearance. Um, she's not very good, but <laughs> that's fine. Okay, another epic. Jingle Jingle. Yeah, no, ne neither one, neither one. I think Jingle Hunter should get a buff, actually. I think Jingle Hunter should get a buff. All right, so with that being said, let's see how many points that was, and then we're going to flip over to the free-to-play account and actually pull some shards. All right, so if we take a look over here, I'm at 1450 points, and so that's about halfway to the fragments. Now, I mean, I guess I could go in, but like... I don't know. Is that a lot? Is that a good reward? I guess it's an eternal soul stone if I want it to be. Or how much essence is that? Yeah, I would probably just turn that into an eternal soul stone. And then these would be some immortals. One, one and a half immortals. That's so weird. I don't... I mean, I guess it's fine. Whatever. So... I'm going to have to decide what I'm doing. Up at the top here is Mythical Relentless, and that's just literally my favorite thing. That is literally my favorite thing. So I have to decide what I'm doing this weekend for shards on this account, and so do you. You know, Do you have other champions safe that you can pull here? Because that could be an option. That's one way to help yourself, right? Um, on my way with High Mother Mod, but you know... <laughs> 
I don't know how helpful she's going to be. So let me know what is your plan for this weekend. Are you going to come over here and just like buy some, uh, where is it here? You know, buy some void shards, okay? Don't forget, over on mtgjedi.com, I have ratings for all of these normal packs. I do need to get some of the other ones on there. Um, like these, I'm not sure. Those are those should be there. But these aren't on here. These are both three-star deals. Might be four-star. This one's three-star. Either way, I need to get the ratings for these two on here because they've been keeping them in the shop. I thought they were just, you know, temporary ones. Either way, I feel like I need to lock down here and switch accounts and pull some actual shards. We're already uh, a decent way into the video. Okay, we're over on the free-to-play, grinding our life away, and this account, oh man, we're coming near the end, we're, we're ramping up? but we're ramping down. Um, the uh, the time of the free-to-play is only 90 days. So I'm doing things that I wouldn't necessarily do on other accounts. I'm going to make a whole video about that. But for today, I'm going to pull in all my shards, okay? I'm pulling all my shards. I want to get as many options as possible, and I want to get rewards for that. So I've saved them for this, and we're going to see what we can get here. So seven ancient shards. I need to save my gems for energy for this champion training because, man, that's just like the most important thing. So seven ancient shards. Honestly, I just want someone impactful. Okay, Neldor is the freeze guy. I'm not sure he's going to be helpful, but I don't even have this guy on my main account. That's who I was hoping for on my main account. Sheesh. Okay, we have Steel Bowyer. That's a chicken. We have another chicken. Assassin. Actually, a... Uh, He's probably good enough for my Faction War team. Oh, I thought that was a legendary. We got Gallic. We're going to chicken you up. We got... Okay, Prosecutor. I feel like she's okay. Um, especially for, for like free-to-play early game. They're epic. Ah, Tamui. Not really going to help me outside of Faction Wars. And Magus. Normally, Neldor would be amazing. Normally, Neldor would be amazing. Are there any free-to-play competitors that have gotten a Void Legendary on their account? I just need to know. I don't think so. There's have been some amazing epics. Okay, Siren. Oh, jeez. She's really good. She has decreased defense, weaken, and poisons. I don't think that that's better than what I'm doing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. That's a good pull right there. What is this? A Shadowkin pull day? And Kellen. Kellen, I don't really like, <laughs> but I do need some major help with my Sylvan Watchers faction war team. Okay, so how many points did that get me? Let's go check. Yeah, see, that didn't get me an even to 1,300. So I'm going to try to find a way to get to 1,300. I really thought I was going to get at least 1,950 or on a good day, 3,000. Uh, maybe that was just a pipe dream. But either way, I'm going to try to get to that 1,300. Which, if I have to go with Mystery Shards, I will. Because I want that energy. So, I think that'll do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys later on stream. Have a great day. Okay, so that's not enough, but that got us 1450. We could pull a little amount. Ah! There was a bug on me. I'm gonna have to edit that out.